Hi there and welcome to the fourth video in my series on getting started with AutoCAD. My name is Chris and in this video we're going to talk about one of the most important drawing tools AutoCAD gives you, which are called snaps. Please note that I'm using AutoCAD 2015 and as such there will be visual differences between what is on my screen and what you've got given that you're, not, you're also using AutoCAD 2015. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Snaps are a function that lets you snap to various points of other objects. So for example, let's go ahead and draw a line here. I'm just going to draw a line from there to there. Now, if I didn't have my snaps turned on, I've got them turned off right now, and I were to try and draw a line and I was going to try and get it exactly on the end here, a real nightmare to try and eyeball that in. And, and you know you're never going to get it right just eyeballing it. It looks good from, a, from far off, but you'll notice that it's not perfect. And in AutoCAD, what we want is perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to use snaps. Now, I keep on zooming out here. Um, your snaps can be toggled on or off by pressing the F3 key on a standard um, Windows keyboard. And you'll notice down here that this little button toggles on and off with the snaps as well. So you can turn that on and off. You can also pick different snaps. And these are all snaps that are in AutoCAD. Now, we're going to go ahead and go to Object Snap Settings right here. If you're not using AutoCAD 2015, just type O Snap, and it will bring you right here. And these are the different snaps that AutoCAD gives you, and you can have as many of these on as you'd like. The first one here is Endpoint, and again, th these are all fairly, fairly non-brainer. Um, midpoint, Center, a node means that you're snapping to a specific point in your drawing. Quadrant, again, is picking to one of the um, cardinal directions on, on a circle or um, other round objects. Uh, intersection is where two lines meet or two objects meet. If you use SketchUp um, and you know the idea of, of inferences, that's kind of how this works. Uh, that in addition to object, object snap tracking. So the combination of the two are pretty awesome. I don't really use the insertion. I'm sure there are people out there who do. Um, and the rest of these I kind of use as I need them, but not all the time. So perpendicular, tangent, nearest is useful sometimes, but again, I don't like having that on all the time. A lot of these are personal preference and what you get used to drafting with. So this is kind of my drafting set. So let's go ahead and look at how this works. We've got object snap turned on. You can see here, again, we can tell by the little button being enabled there. Let's go ahead and draw another line. And now when I get to the end here, we get this little box around it and it tells us that that's the end point. So we know that we are exactly, um, oops, there we go. Those two lines are exactly intersecting. So now we know that the two endpoints of these lines um, are living in the exact same point. In space. So let's go and zoom out here and let's look at some of the different snaps. Um, again, we have the mid, uh, midpoint snap right here, right? And everything, oops, everything has a midpoint snap as long as it's got a midpoint, right? Another one here is the perpendicular snap. You'll notice that whenever you get perpendicular to an object, it will try and snap to it as opposed to snapping to the midpoint or snapping somewhere else. So again, we can say we want to snap perpendicular. Um, let's draw a circle and let's look at some of the different snaps on a circle. So if we're going to try and snap a line to it, we can see we've got a quadrant right here, quadrant right here, quadrant right here, and quadrant right here. And you'll notice that after I leave my after I leave the position, there's still a little green plus there. That's a point of inference. That's a um, an extension point. I'm trying to remember what they're called. Let's see here. Um, that's an object tracking spot or an extension spot. So let me show you here. So let's say you want to um, to draw something off this line, right? You can see here, I mouse over it, and I've got this dotted line that shows me that I'm exactly in line with that other point. So I can draw a straight line if I turn ortho on. And again, going back to our last video where we talked about drawing tools in ortho, um, you can in, uh, toggle it on and off by holding down the shift key. Another one that we have here is the center point snap. And you can get that 
This one's kind of, it can be frustrating to get to, but you can get to it by running your command and going over the edge of the circle or the object that has a center. Um, polygons have centers, squares, rectangles. Using the rectangle tool has centers. The ellipse tool has a center. Not all objects will have a center, but in, case, in this case we do. And you can see here, that's our radius exactly, because we know it comes from the exact middle of the circle to a quadrant. Let's talk about some of these other snaps now. Um, let's talk about the intersection snap. So again, we've got two objects that are intersecting right here, and that is trying to snap to an endpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that just crosses right here. Now we're going to go ahead and draw another line, and you can see we mouse over top of it, we have the little X, and that's our intersection snap. So again, that means that we're snapping to that exact point where those two lines intersect. That's super, super useful. Now, to be perfectly honest, those are about all the snaps that I use um, day in and day out, with the exception of um, this next method of snapping that I wanted to show you, which is um, a single snap selection ability that Auto AutoCAD has. Let's say that you've got this big, complicated drawing and there's a single object that you want to snap to in a very specific location, um, but you don't want to have to try and dig through all the rest of the objects to try and get to it. You can do a single snap. Uh, you, can, you can force AutoCAD to do a single snap by holding in the Shift key on your keyboard, right-clicking. Let me do this in my window here. And what this will do is it will bring up a dialog that lets you pick which snap you would like to uh, to use specifically. So I want to snap to endpoints only. You'll see now all I get when I mouse over anything are endpoints. You see I don't get this intersection right here. It tries to go right to the endpoint. And again, this is this is a way to be able to force your snap to be able to function in a specific way. Another thing you can do is you can use it on your second click. So in this case, I said, okay, I want this to be the endpoint endpoint, pardon, but um, now I want to be able to snap tangent, man, I got to keep on doing this. Now I want to be able to snap tangent to this circle. So I can say tangent, and instead of having to try and eyeball it, I just click. And I know that that's only going to touch that circle in a, in a single location because it's tangent. So that's, that's kind of how that can be used. And then um, in addition to that, like when I'm drawing, let's say I've got this is super, super rough and dirty. Let's say um, I'm offsetting through that. Let's say this is my room and I've got a wall that comes out somewhere around here. Um, and I need to draw some sort of construction line just to, to figure out where the midway point is. Uh, this isn't a very good example because the halfway point's really, really easy to get to. But um, one thing you can do is you can use the, the line tool and then shift right click and go to nearest. And again, these each have a keyboard um, shortcut to be able to pull each one. Nearest happens to be R. Um, so you can shift right click and then press R really quick and uh, have it go right to that. You'll see it goes to nearest. And then I can say, okay, I want it to go somewhere here. And I know that that midpoint is the exact halfway through. I also know that this is exactly halfway through. So um, most of what you're going to run into with snaps is just that you need practice. You need practice and you need to learn the behavior of the software. But as you go through your drawings and, and um, you get frustrated because the snaps aren't working the way you want them to, and you figure out how to make them work the way you want them to, um, you'll be really enabled as a user to be able to do the things that you'd like to do with AutoCAD. That's about it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you thought it was fantastic, go ahead and subscribe. More are coming. And that's it. Thanks for watching.